Have you ever needed to create a design for a client, but you don't know where to start? You know you need to get the project going, but your mind is a complete blank. My name is Andy Klepner, and I'm with Automated Marketer, and I want to introduce you to Midjourney. Midjourney is a powerful AI text-to-image generator that is quickly taking over the internet and social media. This AI-powered system creates images based on user prompts. As an example, here's a version of me as Superman. Not too shabby. I believe the likeness is pretty close. Now, people are using it to design art, character designs, logo designs, memes, product designs, mobile app designs, and a lot, lot more. In today's example, we're gonna use Midjourney to create a new website design for an author client of ours. So sit back, like and subscribe, and let's get automated. Now to get started, you're gonna to wanna to access Midjourney. All you need to do is go to the midjourney.com website and you're gonna be presented with this screen. You click on join the beta and just go through all the steps. They'll get you set right up and you have to make sure that you're using Discord in order to make it work right. So I'm gonna click join the beta and my Discord is already gonna come right up just by clicking accept invite and it should load right for me. And there it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little white ship right here. This is the Discord for Midjourney. Now there's all these different channels and you can explore these on your own, but I'm going to start off by going to a newbie area because frankly, I'm a newbie. I'm just started using this stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to look through and you're going to see that there's actually a lot of stuff being built all the time. People have a uh, pigeon sits on a throne or photo of a teleportation device, anything their heart could desire could be created. This one, it looks like it's a sketch, a blueprint that they're using. This is two native New Yorkers, 30 years old, eating a burrito in a heavily gentrified neighborhood. Now that's pretty specific, but we're gonna be using it to create landing pages. So in order to get started, you come down to this messaging area right here and you type in slash imagine. When you do that, it's gonna give you an area to enter in a prompt. Now the first prompt that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in professional website for a new author. And we're gonna see what it creates. Now it's, as you can see, it's waiting to start. It takes a little while to render. As it's rendering, you'll notice that it has a bit of a blurry image. This means it's just getting started and here it comes in. It's actually pulling in ideas and coming up with innovative ways to make the design better and better. All right, now we're at 62% and in just a second, it should go to 100%. Now we're at 93% and there we go. It's completely ready to, sh to show. If I click on it, you'll see the four different designs that I came up with. Looks like we got a little bit of a gothic horror thing going on here. Uh, we got a person's face right here. This is on a laptop and this is on a desktop. So what we wanna do next is we wanna give it some more prompts to make it better and better and better. Always improve it. I think after looking at all these four, my favorite one is the one here in on the bottom left hand side. I wanna improve this one. Now because I like the third design the most, I'm choosing to upscale this third design. All I need to do is click on U3 to make that happen. And as you can see, it's already working on it right over here. And now here's an upscaled version of that first design. And as you can see, it looks like a really cool gothic horror kind of thing. And that's just a, a little example of exactly what the AI can do. So now I want to add a couple more prompts in there. While this is a very cool design, this is not exactly what I'm looking for. Our client is a much more professional kind of self-help kind of author. So what we're going to do is we're going to start again. We're going to type in imagine. And then we're going to put in a new beautiful website for an author. Maybe that'll give us something that's a little bit different and not so dark. And we want to make sure that we're using website design. So we're going to type in comma UI comma UX comma website and see what we get. And as you can see, it has come up with four brand new designs of very beautiful and fanciful designs. Well, this is very cool. We want to maybe add in some more prompts to give it even more context. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to copy what we've got. I'm going to ask to imagine it again. 
and I'm gonna add another prompt. And that prompt is gonna be called stylized. Now stylize is used in order to make a more opinionated version of our design. This has an opinion. Now the default is 2,500, but we can go anywhere from zero to 1,000 or 600. So I'm gonna add 700 for that. And then after that, I wanna use the latest version of the software. So I'm gonna use slash slash V4, the fourth generation of the UI. And it's gonna get working. And as you can see, it's created another four designs. Now, I have added more prompts to make this look better and better and better. I wanna start giving it kind of hints in order for it to look a certain kind of way. So I'm gonna go back to my browser and I'm gonna to go to a website called Dribble. Now Dribble is a very cool website that designers use to kind of get inspiration. And I'm gonna type in author website and see if anything comes up that I can use as a jumping off point for my design. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in landing page and see what comes up. Oh, there we go, perfect. There's this case study image here. So all I gotta do is click right inside of it. I'm gonna right click on the image. I'm gonna copy the image address. I'm gonna go back to my Discord channel. And this is gonna give me a real hint of exactly the way I want it to look. I'm gonna type in slash, imagine. There's my prompt, I'm gonna paste in the link. And then I'm gonna repeat everything that I originally typed in. Just gonna copy and paste it because I have it from before. And by doing this, we're giving Midjourney a hint of exactly the way we want it to look. And that way it can have a jumping off point for us to work on. And there we go, our design is ready. And these are getting a lot cooler. These are becoming much more of an author type of website. We have a book example in here. We've got two different sections. We've got a navigation coming in. There's a navigation on this one. It's starting to look a little bit more like exactly what we want it to look like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these designs to upscale. I think I'm gonna use number two right over here. So we're gonna upscale number two. One, two, three, four, number two. And upscale there and see what we get. And as you can see, it's starting to work on the job. And here's a more upscaled version of that artwork ready for us to start using as a jumping off point for our design. Now, one of the things that we could have done to make it even better is we could actually choose the colors that we wanted to be. So I'm gonna put in all that same information again, but this time I'm gonna add some colors. So we're gonna paste right in here. And after the website, I'm gonna do comma, blue, yellow, and silver. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, that should be perfect right there and see what it generates. There we go. Now those are some really beautiful designs. And as I'm looking at these, I think I like this third one uh, the most. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose V3 and get some more variations on that third design right here. That's what the V's for. And let's check out what those variations are gonna be. Oh, and as you can see that they're coming in right now and they're gonna be sharper in just a moment. We're at 55% so far. It's getting very exciting. We can kind of see where it's coming along. And I think it finished, so all I gotta do is click on it. All right, I think I'm gonna upscale this one right here, number three again. All right, so we're gonna upscale number three. And here's the final design ready to go. Now this is something I can really jump off of with the client. So I would take something like this and I would copy it. I'd save the image into one of my folders. 
onto my downloads, and then I would take that into Photoshop and use it as a jumping off point for any of my designs. So there you have it. What we've done is we've used Midjourney to create a beautiful design, something that we can use as inspiration when we have no inspiration to work off of, and then start building a beautiful website design for our client. If you've liked our video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.